kicking names and taking ass. That's what we're doing in that intro. Howdy, I'm Alchemist. And I'm Dredge Wolf. And welcome to part uh, quattro, I think, of our our uh, Anthem series. Yep. Just going to talk over to the Inquisitor chick. I forgot what her name was. Inquisitor chick, Someone that's her name. Me in on what happened. You've got a problem oh. out there. Tassin? Some kind yeah, of Tassin. Dominion heavy. His people called him the Monitor. We couldn't stop him. And he was there for a Shaper relic? Tore the place apart. Your agent wouldn't give in. Right to the end, she... Well... I know. She got Wilhelmed. I'm sorry. <laughs> she did get Wilhelmed. She left this archive behind. I'll have my people dig into it. The Dominion really have returned. In force. Damn. I thought spies took everything in stride. We also respect our enemies. So life that's what's bugging me about Tassin. Isn't much of a life at all. Her posture. Their sights on Fort Tarsus. Right. I don't know. Well, maybe she had a. I don't know. Exactly with the my idea of living the dream. <laughs> yeah, her posture is, is a little weird. And I prefer yeah. it to remain dictator free. Yeah. What can we do? For you now, know, we never actually got uh, the Dominion perspective on this. We've That's always just got like the Fort's mean. perspective. Sentinel That's true. Brain. It's it's like we're Sharp, being force-fed a particular worldview. Yeah. I, look into the I mean, North I'll Korea says time. life in America is horrible, but, Sentinel you know. Brain. That's true. Sentinel. Very true. How can we help? We don't know. Uh, we have no idea what the Dominion's perspective is like. So, so Fort Tarsus is the North Korea of Anthem? Right. Could very well be. Could we be. don't know. Yeah. I will see you. Okay then. Yeah, we don't know what the structure of this government's like. That's true. He said he wanted to be dictator free, but Freelancer, we have no idea what their goal? government is based on. In. Yeah. By the way, I finally cleared out the clutter from my lab, so I can resume my work. I'll be there if you need to talk. Maybe it's a religious oligarchy. It could be. Yeah, oh, some sort of well, a theocracy. Hello. Uh oh. What's going on? Some sort of you twisted sex me a cult. Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I suppose that's fair. I do peddle in danger. Still, you should know me better than that. I know you. Okay. Owen's an international man of mystery. Uh, trick question. You don't like <laughs> celebrating birthdays. That's a Bond reference, isn't it? Well, it's a reference to that kind of character. Okay. Bond never refers so to himself that way. But is my birthday? I guess it's more of a um, you've, you've never told me. Uh, Austin not. Powers kind it of was a thing. A number of days ago. Ah, I see. Ah, well, then, well uh, here we're showing off the um, well, thank you. the so, chat system. You That's are allowed to you have traditional Bioware conversations some, in this sometimes. game. It's just Actually, not during the, the major cutscenes. It's only in the side uh, missions. Now that is a trick. <laughs> what, which time? Recently or in... Uh, now, I don't play these kinds of games. And so... I'm unfamiliar well, with this. Stopping, or bored. Um, or bored. How important? Which out first well, of all, how important is it to have this kind of content, and how well do, does Bioware do trouble. it? Bioware does a, a pretty decent company? job of it. Like a uh, middling job. Yeah, pretty pretty good job. I haven't seen anyone do it better. Bad so really, so it's just forms. pretty much stock, <laughs> this kind of thing. Which is what I like about yeah. You. you never back away from a thrill that I present you. It's fun. Trouble can be fun. And the fact that it's a job that pays, as far as how important it is, well, I guess that same. depends on how much you like uh, role playing you these, in these in games. Anyway. I was tired how much you want to associate you yourself with the uh, with unshaken. the character and Roaming. the world as opposed to just doing? shooting Roaming. stuff. Same yeah. You were doing when we met in Helios. I like to think of it more as finding myself because of the heart of rage. I'd like to find out what all this what gibberish means, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. What did uh, there's a bunch of crap there? We don't know what that means again. They're doing they're doing it again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're throwing out completely, you know, just unknowable gibberish crap. Ah, my new friend, you listened well to my story of Freemark, huh? Never heard it. Greeting like stereotype. I was long retired. The battle was not. Well, I was fight. thinking about that. I mean, he me. has a Russian a accent and a beard, you know and he's sort of the grizzled, we deal with the warrior type. Problems. So it's not we just that he has an accent, right? So he speaks in that we very we stereotypical chaos. Russian we stunted lives. English. You hear me? Okay, I hear you. People could count on us. Well, I know world, quite a few a Ukrainian deep. people. But that has been lost. They don't really talk quite people like don't that. Trust us. Hard yeah. times now. But, enough glue. but they, their English is actually very, very good. You. Going to protect some arcanists doing seismic tests, okay? Seismic tests? Well, just because yeah. it's a stereotype doesn't mean it's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Don't want it to fall into a hole like last time. What? 
But these tests attract animals, the kind with teeth, you know? <laughs> you protect one side of the fort, and Freelancer Wright will protect the other. You hear me? I hear you. Good. Now go. I'm hungry. No breakfast yet. <laughs> There's a bottle of vodka waiting for me. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to show off uh, one of these little side missions that we've been kind of ignoring up until this point. Freelancer, I trust the contract went well. Get off my back! It was not my fault she died! <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, uh. well, guys, how'd it go, man? How'd it go? Did you win? You're like, fuck you! <laughs> no, I didn't win. <laughs> I brought her back, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I was more referring to that gibbering shout you made. That was kind of obnoxious. I was upset. Or, Harry Potter reference. I was distraught! Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, we're also going to invite a friend over for this mission. Gonna invite my buddy Anish. Anyone who watched our, uh, wow, let's plays might be familiar with this guy. Welcome, Anish. My one and only friend. Yeah. All right. Cut through the loading screen bullshit, and now we're on our way. Patching in Freelancer Yarrow. Yarrow here. Let's see if we can keep some Arcanists alive, yes? Freelancer Wright has begun her patrol. This is right. What the man says, I'm on my way. Let's see what we can do, Wright. All right, here it just... It kicked me out of the game for some reason, but I was able to get back in right away, so... We're gonna pick back up where we left off. Good grief, there's a lot of litter around here. Yeah, for whatever reason, people just kind of leave their crap around. You know, well, actually, thinking about it, maybe those are uh, sensors to figure out what the hell's going on with the area. Yeah, maybe they could be. Yeah. I mean, with the environment seemingly being able to change suddenly and rapidly with no way to predict it. <laughs> nice one. Being able to keep track of What's going on seems critically important. Yeah, although with the uh, laws of physics changing, how can you know you're even going to stay in contact with your stuff? Yeah. But, you know, you do what you can do, right? Yeah, I mean, just because it's not going to work 100% of the time doesn't mean, you know, that's an excuse to have no warning at all. Don't try to smash the shield. Get behind it. Understood. Yeah, yeah don't try to smash the shield. Get behind it. Because... They made cars tough in the 70s, let me tell you. I don't... I don't get the reference. It's a car it's hood. Thank you. Oh, okay. It's kind of square and boxy for a car hood. Cars were square and boxy in the 70s. Oh. No All right. Here. Where are they? No bodies. Good. Scars must have taken... Really? Because those bags and... Oh, I guess those are rocks, huh? They sure, sure as shit look like bodies, though. Yeah, those are bags. Duffels. Yeah. Yes, go. That was all the cocaine and money. Yeah. <laughs> How the hell can you predict a signature from their tools in the fort? I mean, you wouldn't think that's a huge energy signature, you know? It's like, it's like being able to detect a battery in Fort Knox. Because science, dude. Yeah. You're such a doubter. You're a denier. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Who I'm in a, you to fly? I'm an energy detecting denier. <laughs> yes. A camp. You see? Yes. It's gonna be a fight. Well, oh, look at them all. Given the like uh, cognitive damage you've received from control. slamming into things, it's not surprising. Yes, I'm getting acquainted with both. I like the voice actors. Yeah, the voice actors do a decent job. Although, I have to say, the voice actors in um, B of A were also outstanding. Yeah, that's that's a reference to our WoW content, by the way. Yeah. I imagine most people watching Anthem don't give a shit about WoW. Really? Very, very different crowds. The game world is balkanized? Good. Very good. Yes. So sad. Eh, that's just human nature. Why can't we all just get along? Okay, everything blew up except the shit you were shooting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, very good. Ah, finally, there you go. I guess it wasn't uh, the animators weren't expecting me to come from behind. 
<laughs> they never do. <laughs> yeah. You know, the sniper rifles in this game are pretty fun, but uh, there's a limited uh, amount, number of times, well, limited opportunities to use them, I should say. Right, right. I have to say it's effective, though. Yeah. The enemies tend, tend to bum rush you. Oh, and one thing I also didn't notice on the first playthrough, at least, but watching it now, you can see lines of water coming down uh, since it's raining on your screen. That's pretty cool. Almost like you're watching it through a helmet. Yeah, we're always, there were some really good examples of it right there. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool detail. At least there's no goddamn camera flares. Oh. Lens flares? Yes. Oh my god. Keep J.J. Abrams away from this shit. That's right. He's why we can't have anything nice. Oh, there you go. I can imagine. If you ever get lost, you're just going to look for grooves in the rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Helmet with groove. Oh. Ah, I don't leave a mark. Is that? Yes, it is. What? That big All right. Took him down before the voice actors could even uh talk about him. Yeah. Nicely done. That thing is down. No more junk maw. <laughs> Take no. that junk maw. Let's see about those <laughs> Up yours, junk you maw. You're okay. He likes having junk in his teeth, I guess. He's got a 50 safe. caliber bullet there now. Call the sentinels to pick them up. Already done. Good. Nothing more to do here. Check on freelancer right. Got it. And let's leave and leave the uh, unguarded civilians unguarded. Yeah. Just. Let right. them hang here? out and hope they don't get captured again. Or killed by some other critter. Wyvern comes up and toasts them all. <laughs> yeah. You, get over there. You hear me? I hear you. Oh, shit. <laughs> well, I managed to make it to the uh, ledge, at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Yeah, I thought that was the entrance to a cave there, but uh, I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Good thing I didn't fly into it, at least. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I think you were trying to hit that tree. I mean, that was close. That was a shave right there. If I wanted to hit it, I would have hit it. Um, so you're telling me you wanted to hit that right there, too? Maybe. Then <laughs> <laughs> you want to hit the next thing you're going to hit? Which is no comment. Which happen pretty damn soon. <laughs> Can't blow hit. It's a mess. And there's no right. No arguments. Only scars. Blast. Right. Where are you? Well, you should be able to read her signature. Yeah, where's her energy <laughs> signature? Yeah. Taro? I mean, you can pick up a battery eight <laughs> miles away, but That's you can't right. pick up a freelancer? Yeah, you can read my Milwaukee cordless dr drill from <laughs> fucking inside a fortress. Apparently they're using the 18 volt system and his battery is only at 20% charge. So these, um, we've been speculating on what these, uh, sort of Aurora-like, uh, little tornado things are, and we don't know. They may be teleport for the scars, uh, who the hell knows. Yeah, it seems kind of weird that if they have teleportation technology, why do they use those, that drill technology they were using earlier, you know? like. What's with the tunneling if they have teleports? Yeah, there's no sign of the Arcanists or right. Search the area. Find them. So Anisha's kind of doing his own thing, but he seems to be being useful. Yeah, yeah, my buddy's helping out. <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect you to see that giant rock face right in front of you. Of course you ran into it. I tried to avoid it. 
<laughs> I just couldn't turn tight enough. It seems like you're getting uh, a little more used to the aiming, targeting. Yeah, getting better at it. It's still kind of restricted. Yeah, this fight takes way too goddamn long. Yeah, you have a really hard time with this big guy. Yeah, part of it is just the way this area is set up. Right, it's hard to get long. around. Yeah, it's hard to get around his shield. Yeah. That's true. And he's a big one. That looks like the hood off of a uh, off a of big rig. Yeah. He wasn't screwing around. Come on back, good buddy. That's the hood off of 1979 Peterbilt truck. In fact, that's his name, Peterbilt. Well, actually, it's Steel Cutter. Well, was Steel Cutter. Well, everybody's a little banged up, but alive. Nothing got past Rice. She'll be okay. Damn right. Oh, good. Very good, my friend. Sentinels are on their way. Glad you made it. My trigger finger was cramping up. <laughs> so the uh, the Sentinels show up when all the fun's done. Yeah. Not exactly the most useful individuals, huh? Well, they weren't able to prevent uh, the Dominion from taking over that other fort. Yeah. Of course, the Freelancer wasn't able to do anything against uh, the Monitor, the Lizard. Yep. Alright, now it's just time to head on over and talk to Yarrow. If I could remember where the fuck Yarrow is. <laughs> it's interesting, you look at these, like the door there, and um, the framing is all kind of twisted and twisted chaotic, and chaotic, kind of lightning like that door as well. Um, I guess you would expect a people that live in a world that can uh, spontaneously transform itself into all kinds of weird shit would, you know, oh, a certain amount of chaos would be part of the, the culture. Yeah, people probably. To believe freelancers have their backs. After Freemark, belief hard to come by. Glad I could help. How's freelancer Rife doing? Good. She put up a hell of a fight. Of course. She knows I would be angry to write her story for the wall. But, my young friend, she is alive. This is a good story to tell. People will hear of it. Think that'll help around here? Oh, yes. Now, Rife is recovering at the bar if you want to check on her. I will keep an eye out for contracts. Never fear. So, um, ugh, what was I going to say? write her story on the wall. Is that a reference to dead freelancers uh, as like a wall of remembrance, kind of like the right? the memorial wall for Vietnam vets, that kind of thing? Is that what he's referring to? Uh, that's never been explained, like many things in this game, but <laughs> I would imagine so. Okay, right. You know, just based on contacts. Oh, someone needs to work on those stairs, man. They're sagging in the middle. Yeah. It's like this place is geologically unstable or something. <laughs> yeah. All right, and um, I've noticed that game designers love stone. Yeah, right. they do. They so love stone. Well, it's pretty. It also comes in um, repeating. You can also do repeating patterns, which are easy to generate. Yes, that's true too. So, what are you trying to accomplish here? Trying to find this bitch. There we are. Hi, freelancer. Hello. Sentinel. Good to see you again. Is it? Isn't it? I don't associate much with freelancers. Okay. Or anyone not a sentinel, really. Well, I hope you don't regret getting to know one of us. Yes, me too. <laughs> okay. Can I so is she something? autistic? Yes. Well, <laughs> quiet. I don't technically have permission for my superiors to Maybe, contact, who knows? But there's been an unusual amount of scar activity around nearby Arcanus base. Whatever it is, it could be dangerous if the scars get hold of it. Agreed. I'll check it out for you. Good. I mean, good luck, freelancer. Right. I mean, no she's problem. sort of awkward and yet viciously honest. Two of the traits. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> all right. Well, we're calling it here for today. We hope you all enjoyed this episode. A little bit of a quickie today. 
<laughs> Not a term I would use. But anyway, thanks for joining us. <laughs> I'm Alchemist. I'm Dredge Wolf. And uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And uh, we hope you have an awesome day. Adios.